Well, I thought I'd get a couple of shots of uh, how they got the OC. Well, I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> this is the Ozark Mill, the road to the Ozark Mill. And this is the uh, meeting place that they've constructed. Big old planter boxes. All right, I thought I'd show you that. Well, the sign says God is up to something good. Interesting. And true. God is good. Always. Always. <laughs> that's what they teach. Anyway, and that's what they preach about. Anyway, but let me show you this aspect of good. It has God in it. The Phoenician way of putting words together started a lot of this spell spinning that keeps souls trapped in the bodies that God didn't make. I know a lot of you don't want to lose you, but there's two creations in Genesis. If you really do your homework and your due diligence and go outside of the Bible, you will figure out that these two creations, one of them ends up with the corruption within the DNA. And that's what we have right now. We have a corruption in our DNA. It keeps us from having our full God-like faculties. We're God-men. We've always been and we always will be. How many of it of us are there? I can't tell you, but there's not, there's not as many as they say in there is as far as the race of humans on this earth. The, the God that created us, they want to be gods. They're creator gods. And they fell to this earth as the Nephilians. And there was a war in heaven and then there was a war amongst these planets that we see around us. Now whether that's outside of us or inside of us, I want you to hold on to the thought that it could all be inside of us. The whole universe is inside of us. The thing that God is so good at in this reality is sending us a comforter that will lead us into all truths, truths even yet known to come. It's consciousness. It's Christ consciousness. I use the word Christ, but there's many interpretations of it. But it's the Kundalini Christo energy that has to do with keeping us alive by pumping bliss through our body. Dan Winters, he's a good one to talk about the bliss factor and the Kundalini oil that is the suburb suburbium oil. I, I can't pronounce these big words, so y'all just don't get lost. But um, our chakra systems are all based on the Kabbalah. The Kabbalah is all based on the tree of life. The tree of life is based on a lot of lies. There's a lot of truth in the Bible, but the misnomer that God is good has got to really uh, awaken in the Christ conscious mind of people that are awakening on planet Earth. This, you know, they, they, they are, our people are thinking more than they once did. And that's what's good. It's when the Christ within us rises and we become the resurrected power of the I am that we say we are. And then we realize that the Phoenician spell, spinning of words, which is everybody is speaking the symbolic nature of words and don't even really understand what they're saying. They're giving their power away on a daily basis by believing that they even got to be sick. If I could change your thoughts on anything, I want to change it on being well, healthy. I see so many sick people when I'm riding the bicycle, when I'm going in and out of stores and things. They're, there's nobody telling them the truth about how we heal our body and how we become healthy. You don't become healthy by not exercising. You exercise your mind first through yoga. 
there's two kinds of yoga that I understand that are are the things that drive bliss in my life. One is Kaya Yoga. It's the yoga of self-realization. Very important. And then there's the yoga of stretching. Stretching the ligaments and the tendons and working all of the parts of your body through movement and stretching. Stretching is so important. If you don't do anything, just start stretching. If that's all you can do, get in a chair. And that's how I started after my injury. Got in a chair and Irina, the Russian girl from Greenville, Mississippi, that has a yoga studio still to this day in Greenville. You people are blessed to know her. And uh, she got me to bend over in chair and do yoga out of the chair until I could do it on my own. And it did, it did take a couple of, a couple of, well, a couple of months before I got really good at doing uh, some of the deeper bends and deeper stretches. And I haven't stopped. That's why God is good. He gives us the ability to understand that we can correct our thinking. The thing that has to be changed is the way we think. I know I say this all the time and I'm going to give you this piece and then I got to go. This is tough. This is really tough. Y'all pay attention to what I'm saying. The true creator source being of all things that we emanate from as that reason I say I am and always will be. Never had a beginning, never have an end. These bodies come and go. This thing we see outside of us comes and goes. This so-called solid world. God can't even, that creator being, I say God, you know, for whatever reason, it's just a word y'all can resonate with. But the source of all things is outside of this. It's like if you had a dream and you dreamed horrible things, horrible things, things in your life and things that happened and things that you did and you wake up and you're sweating and you reach up to your forehead and you wipe your brow and you go wow I'm glad that's a dream that's what this reality is I can't explain it any better than to say that that's the reason God doesn't have anything to do with the calamity in this world it means that it's not real I know people hate me to say that sometimes, but it's, it's, the, it's the facts. And when we wake up to Christ consciousness, then we can actually take control of who put us in this box. Who are the evil people behind the corruption in the world? Man, there ought to be peace every freaking where. There ought to be people that's living in peace and harmony. And there ain't no damn reason that we, we, we've been lied to. It has to stop. It has to stop within you. Stop telling lies. Stop judging people. When the truth comes out about this, it's going to shake the world. When the reality hits home that God is good. Not the religious God. I'm telling you people, that's the problem. That's the corruption within the DNA. That's the people that are keeping us from knowing who we are. They don't want us to know how powerful we are. They're feeding off of our ignorance on a multitude of ways. And they're making money every day off of sick people. And they love it. They love to, they love to put an ad on the commercial and tell you got, they tell you they got a medicine. And then they got to tell you the side effects. Start paying attention to just how this system has got us in this trap. We are soul trapped, and even death itself is another version of the soul trap outside of this matrix to another matrix. The last thing you want to do is go to the light. At that point of death and dying, you want to know you are the light. You want to know that there is no source of light that you see after death that isn't a trap except your power to be the light and to really snap into the remembering of who you are 
you got to remember it before you die or you're going to be trapped again. I love everyone. I love everything. I love the freaking grass. I love the freaking trees. I love it all. I even love the evil people that have trapped us. <laughs> Because without them doing what they've done over the eons of time, this buddy in this reality wouldn't be able to wake up. <laughs> and I did. And I'm going to keep telling people I did. And I'm going to keep talking about this soul trap mess. And who everybody says, well, who are they, buddy? Who are the people that done this to us? Well, well number one, they're not people. And number two... <sighs> they're really hard to talk about <laughs> and I, 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 I don't want to go off into it too deep but they're they're creator gods they <laughs> they're very powerful and they're Luciferian in nature they know that they create their reality to the 10th degree and that's why within their family generations they have all the wealth of the world because they know the game. They've set it up. And that's good. Yeah, it seems to be bad, but it's good. Trust me. <laughs> this thing is going to end in a really good way. And I don't know when it's going to end, but it ends when you believe it within your body. And you start speaking life to the world, your cells, your DNA. You start creating out of your thought the imagination of you having and doing and being everything that you believe you can be. I gotta go, people. And of course, my hand is in the wrong place to do the slap. So hang on, let me do this. <laughs> now I got the slap. I'm gonna slap the, sh I, the mess out of this camera. Bye. <laughs>